Tinnitus. What is it and what can you do about it? Tinnitus is a condition characterized by the perception of sound in one or both ears or in the head without any external sound source. It can be a high-pitched ringing, buzzing, humming, or a low-pitched noise, and it can vary in intensity and duration. According to the American Tinnitus Association, approximately 15% of the general population in the United States experiences some form of tinnitus. It can be a distressing and debilitating condition, affecting quality of life, sleep, and mental health. Causes of tinnitus There are several potential causes of tinnitus. The most common cause is noise-induced hearing loss, which can be caused by exposure to loud noises, such as music, machinery, gunfire, or explosions. Exposure to such sounds can damage the sensory hair cells in the inner ear, leading to tinnitus. Aging can also cause tinnitus, as the sensory hair cells in the inner ear can naturally deteriorate over time. Other potential causes of tinnitus include Earwax blockage. A buildup of earwax can cause tinnitus by preventing sound waves from reaching the eardrum. Autotoxic medications. Some medications can damage the inner ear, leading to tinnitus. These medications include some antibiotics, cancer drugs, and high doses of aspirin or ibuprofen. Ear infections. Infections in the ear can cause tinnitus, as can middle ear fluid. Head or neck injuries. Trauma to the head or neck can damage the auditory system and cause tinnitus. Jaw misalignment. Tinnitus can be a side effect of temporomandibular joint TMJ, disorders, which affect the jaw. What science says about tinnitus? Despite significant research, the exact physiological mechanisms behind tinnitus are not yet fully understood. However, current research suggests that tinnitus is a result of changes in the auditory system. One theory is that when the sensory hair cells in the inner ear are damaged, the brain tries to compensate by producing phantom sounds. Another theory is that the auditory nerves in the brain become hyperactive, which can lead to the perception of tinnitus. Research has also shown that tinnitus is often associated with changes in the brain's neural activity. Magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, studies have revealed that people with tinnitus have increased activity in the auditory cortex and other regions of the brain that are involved in processing emotions, attention, and memory. Is there anything you can do about tinnitus? While there is currently no cure for tinnitus, there are several treatment options available that can help manage the symptoms. The type of treatment that is most effective will depend on the underlying cause of the tinnitus. Some treatment options for tinnitus include Hearing aids. If the tinnitus is caused by hearing loss, hearing aids can help improve hearing and reduce the perception of tinnitus. Tinnitus retraining therapy. This therapy involves a combination of sound therapy and counseling to help desensitize the brain to the perception of tinnitus. Cognitive behavioral therapy. This type of therapy focuses on changing the negative thought patterns and emotions associated with tinnitus, which can help reduce the distress caused by the condition. Medications. There are currently no medications that can cure tinnitus, but certain medications can help reduce the symptoms, such as antidepressants or anti-anxiety drugs. In addition to these treatments, there are several lifestyle changes that can help manage the symptoms of tinnitus, including avoiding loud noises. Exposure to loud noises can worsen tinnitus symptoms, so it is important to avoid loud environments or wear earplugs or noise-canceling headphones. Relaxation techniques. Stress and anxiety can worsen tinnitus symptoms, so relaxation techniques such as meditation, yoga, or deep breathing exercises can help reduce stress and improve overall well-being. Sound therapy. White noise or other background sounds, such as nature sounds or music, can help reduce the perception of tinnitus by masking the sound. Dietary changes. Certain foods and supplements, such as caffeine, alcohol, and nicotine, can worsen tinnitus symptoms. A healthy diet that is low in salt and sugar can also help improve overall health and reduce inflammation, which can worsen tinnitus symptoms. It is important to note that some people with tinnitus may not require any treatment at all, as they are able to cope with the condition and the symptoms do not significantly impact their quality of life. However, for those who are struggling with the condition, seeking medical advice and exploring treatment options can be very beneficial. Here are some tips on how to avoid tinnitus. The most effective way to avoid tinnitus is to protect your ears from loud noises. Exposure to loud sounds, such as concerts, can cause tinnitus. You can protect your ears by wearing earplugs or earmuffs when exposed to loud noise. Stress can increase the severity of tinnitus. Practicing relaxation techniques, such as deep breathing, yoga, or meditation, can help reduce stress levels and manage tinnitus symptoms. Regular exercise can help improve blood flow and reduce tinnitus symptoms. Exercise can also help reduce stress levels, which can worsen tinnitus. Caffeine can increase the severity of tinnitus.
limiting your intake of coffee, tea, and other caffeinated beverages can help reduce tinnitus symptoms. Alcohol can cause blood vessels to dilate, which can increase blood flow to the ears and worsen tinnitus symptoms. Avoiding alcohol or limiting your intake can help reduce tinnitus symptoms. Fatigue can worsen tinnitus symptoms. Getting enough sleep can help reduce fatigue and manage tinnitus symptoms. It is recommended that adults get at least 7 to 8 hours of sleep each night. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, CBT, is a type of therapy that can help people with tinnitus by changing their thoughts and behaviors related to their condition. CBT can help reduce stress levels and improve quality of life for people with tinnitus. Sound therapy uses sound to help mask or reduce the severity of tinnitus. White noise machines, sound machines, and ear-level sound generators can help reduce tinnitus symptoms by masking the sound. Thanks for watching.